Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I am here to do your daily reading, my darlings. Yay. Um, honestly, Cancer, I am getting a feeling. I really feel like um, you're leaving people kind of like they've got nothing to say. They're, the, uh, someone could have seen you out and about, or they could be witnessing you, How whatever you're putting out there online, they're seeing you, okay? Something's being made public about your glow up. And one, they feel like they're being ignored. You're not giving them any of your attention. Two, they're very envious and jealous of you, Cancer. Um, they don't want to see you succeed. They've gotten so used to you being a doormat that they want to see you be kept down. They're, I feel like people aren't happy. They're not going to be happy unless you're having a difficult time, unless you're in a struggle, you know? Um, and uh, yeah, I feel like though there's nothing that they can say. There's nothing they can say about it. See, because now they're kind of, um, you've left their life, okay? They, they've got no contact with you. That's just the feeling that I'm getting out here for you guys today. But anyway, Cancer, um, this reading, it, it won't be for all of you. So just take what resonates, right? Leave the rest. Don't try to force it. And once again, Cancer, thank you so much. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, all of my subscribers, everybody new here. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So um, what do we have here? <laughs> Um, ooh, higher font. Yeah, see, I feel like they're feeling, here's the thing, they get kind of angry and upset, Cancer. These are people who are still working within their ego. They don't want to let that ego go, right? <laughs> um, they're feeling ashamed, maybe. They're, I feel like they're trying to hide how they feel. You know, on the inside, they're in a lot of uh, a lot of regret, um, a lot of possibly remorse, but I don't even want to go that far. I, I just feel like they're you make this person feel like um, inadequate in a way, but then they get upset about it because you know they're trying to look like an emperor. Uh, yeah, whatever this person invested in in the past too, I feel like. Um, maybe they worked really hard on something, made a bad investment. I feel like somebody's about to lose a bunch of money here. And they're being shown by the divine, um, sat down to learn a lesson. Uh, the divine is in charge here. And I feel like this is somebody who had something, like a chance at something strong with you at one point, Cancer. And now, you know, I feel like they mistreated you. They wiped their boots on you regularly. Um, they could have been harsh, maybe uh, chose someone else over you, thinking maybe the grass would be greener. And I feel like this person just, you know, they tried to make things, something work out, but it's, it didn't go the way they wanted it to. And now they're having a hard time. They're having a struggle, I feel, with the Seven of Pentacles here. This is interesting, right? They may have to restart, um, do, do something over, maybe start a business over, or try to salvage one. Um, yeah, they're trying to appear to other people like they're in control. They're, maybe they're trying to make you think that they're not falling apart. <laughs> you know, they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know that they regret everything. I feel like now you are um, you are in the Nine of Pentacles energy. At one point, you were in this financial struggle. Maybe uh, you had started a project that you hadn't reaped a, a reward from yet, right? Um, but you continued to put in your work. You continued to nurture whatever it is that you're growing, and now you're the success, Cancer, with Nine Pentacles behind you, just for you now. This is a single person here who's happy being single because you've got everything you need and then some. The only thing you don't have here is one pentacle that stands for a soulmate connection um, and a commitment, right? Generational wealth. You're almost to generational wealth here. And I feel like the divine is showing this person what they could have had, what they had and what they let slip away. 
You know, I feel like at one point, like I said, you were in a time of struggle and this person probably, it feels like to me that they thought they were better than you. They turned their nose up at you. They treated you, um, they were kind of ruthless. I got to say, this person was, um, you know, they were mean, right? They were just, this is somebody who's mean, they could have been rude, very controlling. I feel like they, uh, you when you were in a time of struggle, they reminded you of that as often as possible, right? Because this is somebody who is working out of their ego at their time. They're still doing it. They're still working out of their ego. This is somebody who is um, egotistical big time. Wanting to control the situation, right? Not wanting people to see how they truly feel on the inside, which is somebody who's falling apart. Very emotional. And now they're in the Seven of Pentacles energy, and you're the one. I feel like the roles were just completely reversed, okay? Now you're out here having a victory. This person could have seen you. You could even have a new car here very financially stable and abundant, independent. You don't need this person. You're not paying them any attention. And I feel like, you know, they're playing this control game and you're not playing. You're not giving any attention to this. They're being forced to watch you um, have a success and move forward and have a victory and be happy without them. You know, I feel like the divine is trying to break this person's ego, but they refuse to let go of it. You know? I feel like this was just, this was somebody who was very overbearing, kind of a bully to you at one point. You may have even been um, committed to this person in the past. I feel like, uh, you know, honestly, with the with the lover's card out here, you could be dealing with the Gemini, but I feel like you're making a decision to just do you. You don't want to have anything to do with this person because you know what? You've finally broken away. Um, I feel like this person was kind of brutal. Like, I, I can, I'm picking up that this person, like... Um, mentally mistreated you, okay? It's, it's almost like a mental abuse, okay? And I feel like since you've broken free from this person, um, Cancer, you've been way happier. You've been able to succeed because you've been able to focus on you. And now I feel like you're making a decision. You're, you're deciding that your life is better here um, being single and not having your head messed with every day by some person here who's just being controlling and wanting to, you know, abuse their power with you is basically is what it is. This person wanted to abuse their power. And that I feel like uh, you're putting a stop to this person. There's nothing really that they can say. You're out here. You've broken free. You're healing. You're living a life of peace. And I feel like they're over here um, trying to hide how they feel under under a mask, right? Pretend to be in all kinds of control like they don't even care. They may even be wanting to do something to um, undermine you or um, sabotage what you have going on because I'm feeling a jealousy off of this person because now they're not doing so good. They once thought they were better than you, but now they're the ones in a time of struggle. You know, yeah, you're out here happy. Uh, you're in the public eye somehow. You're on a major glow up, okay? I feel like all this person can do is watch you, Cancer. They can't say anything because of how they treated you in the past. They know it. They know it deep down inside. This person knows it. They're still trying to keep up that. Um, it's like a narcissistic controlling kind of attitude okay yeah i feel like this person um they needed to choose a path they they could have had a queen of swords around them um i kind of get the sense that this is your energy cancer i feel like they want to be with you again but they've been keeping their back turned towards you you've been keeping your back turned towards them them if you look neither one of you are talking I feel like this person is just stubborn 
Um, they needed to come towards you. They backstabbed and betrayed you. I feel like cancer you gave and gave and gave to this person. I really, I'm getting the feeling of that. Um, and I feel like they betrayed you for all of the love that you gave them. Maybe all they did was want to fight with you. I feel like this person was immature. I feel like all they would, they would like insult you, Cancer, okay? They'd insult you. They would cut you down. They would break you down mentally, fight with you, cause chaos in your life, right? Um, and then they'd always come in and give you a fake apology and do it all over again. I feel like this was that, you know, um, they just wanted to continue to break you down. This is what this person does to st be able to stay on this throne. What this is here? This is the kind of person who doesn't feel strong unless they can make someone else feel weak. And I feel like that's what they tried to make you feel. And since you've broken away from them, Cancer, you've healed. And now you're strong. You're loving on yourself. Um, you're, you're on a glow up, putting yourself in the public eye, doing something that takes some courage here. You know, you're standing your ground. You're not going to be paying any attention to this person because, you know what, they're the ones who betrayed you. And they're trying to play it off like, they don't, you know, they don't want to have anything to do with you, but I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. But I feel like you don't want to have anything to do with them because of the immature ways that they've treated you in the past. This person's a mess. I hope this is making sense. I feel like you were dealing with a narcissist here, I got to say. And you're just you're just deciding that your life is way more peaceful on your own you don't have anyone mentally abusing you you know hurting you and just doing whatever they want out of control okay um yeah this is somebody who's angry like they've got something to say but you're really literally shutting them up yeah they feel very defeated here you've defeated this narcissist they're speechless. They got nothing to say. And I feel like uh, they know uh, that uh, they hurt you. They know that they should have made this right. But it's their ego holding them back. I really do feel like this is a narcissist. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Pisces. Yeah. Taurus, Aries, Aquarius. This could be somebody facing jail time, about ready to go to jail for something that they did um, during separation. I feel like you don't have anything to do with this person, Cancer. You are way too busy working. I feel like you're a, you're a hard worker here, very busy, um, doing something in the public eye, maybe something intuitive, divine feminine energy here. Yep, intuition, right? This person could be getting some tarot card readings on you as well because, you know, their big thing is to watch you because uh, they want to they want to stay in control. Right. I feel like they're playing a little game with themselves right now. Cancer like a power trip. They're power tripping with themselves right now because you're not even a part of their life anymore. Yeah, look, they don't want to let you go. They, they don't want to let go of your energy, but yet they're too intimidated and afraid to come forward and say something. The, you're leaving this person with nothing to say. There's nothing they can say. They're speechless. And they're defeated. They could be finding out that they're going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this is your energy, Cancer, adopting both masculine and feminine energy here. You're cutting this person out like a boss. This is why they're not facing you, is because you know what? You're not going to hold back what you want to say anymore. You're going to speak up. If they come, at, if this person comes towards you, I, I also feel like you're going to protect your peace. And you're going to protect all that you've worked so hard for. This person can't come back in. 
they may try or they may be trying to um, communicate with you 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 may have something to say um, yeah and I feel like you're not gonna sugarcoat it either and they're gonna get angry they're gonna get angry if you don't um, give them attention cancer or you know they're not gonna like you standing up to them but it's only because you're killing the last shred of ego that this person has okay but yeah they are gonna try to reach out to you they may have already tried and you could be like not paying you know like I said you're not giving this any attention you're not gonna be answering their messages uh, that could be what's making them angry but still through it all they got nothing to say the only thing that they can do is sit and pout over losing you because this is a narcissist that knows they did you wrong and uh, yeah what do they they get they got nothing they got nothing this is justice at the end of the cycle this is their justice this is their karma you know and I feel like uh, for some of you and it's just a side note this is somebody who could be looking at some jail time for something okay not for all of you but yeah they're they're still trying to pretend that everything is good and they're you know fine I'm way better without cancer you know that kind of thing I don't need cancer right but really look at them ten of swords ten of wands four of cups don't think that this person isn't feeling it okay but they're acting like a kid who didn't get their way they're very pouty they're very upset but yet they you know what there's not a whole lot they can say about it cancer I mean they mistreated you and you you grew you worked on yourself you focused on you and you had a glow up you know what can they say they lost you because they mistreated you they lost you because um, I, I really feel like they mentally abused you I feel like it was a normal thing for them to fight with you put you down throw a bunch of insults at you give you fake apologies I mean I really do feel like this is something that they would do over and over and over again just to wear your your mind down just to wear on your um, confidence and self-esteem I don't know who this is I think yeah see they would put you in a mental mind trap this could be somebody that you were previously married to this is how they wanted you right here mentally tortured basically is what this is this person wanted to mentally torture you now you're leaving them speechless that's what this is you know and I feel like you are defeating this narcissist some of you don't even have to say a word they just know they know they you know don't come near cancer right now because you're they're gonna get an earful like you are going to stand up for yourself now cancer you're gonna speak the truth and nobody seems to want to hear it because they know they wronged you you know oh yeah um, so what else can you show me here for cancer they're getting their um, karma and they may like I said with justice out here and the prison card I, they could be um, going through a court case and I feel like they're gonna end up losing that court case and possibly going to jail that's for someone you could be dealing with um, a Virgo, an Aquarius. Feel like this person studying you, watching you. Um, I feel like this is a toxic individual. And honestly, the feeling that I'm getting off of this card, um, I'm not feeling another individual that they're with. I'm feeling like this is just a very toxic obsession. Like they want to, they want to see you stuck in your head, unable to think straight, okay? But there's no way that they can make that happen. 
Um, they could be watching you on the internet, maybe under a fake profile. You know, because they definitely don't want you to know that they're, um, you, you know, still interested in you. They don't want you to know that they care. Right? They don't want you to know that they're in regret. So it's going to be under a fake profile, right? But I feel like they're studying you. You know, I, they could even be watching tarot card readings out here. Yeah, or getting tarot card readings. Yeah. And if that's the case, this person's going to walk away um, feeling heartbroken because I feel the reader's going to tell them the exact same thing. You're moving forward, having a victory, and, and there's nothing they can do. I feel like you have broken free from the mental prison they wanted to keep you in. There's nothing they can do. They're completely out in the cold. I feel like this person's going to keep losing, too. Because they're that toxic, there's nothing they can do. You got your boundaries up and you're not backing down. King of Swords energy, strength card, you're not backing down. Earth Angel, they're messing with an Earth Angel here. Yeah, you, um, you're protecting yourself, you're protecting your heart. You know what this person tried to do to you. I feel like you've gotten clarity on this. Yeah, all a bunch of lies defensiveness. I feel like they just wanted to project everything back onto you. That's really what I'm feeling like here. You know, they just kept uh, everything that they did, everything that they said um, to you to make you hurt, to make you question yourself. It was all a projection of them. They've got nothing they can say to you anymore. One, you're going to know everything is a lie. Two, you're going to know they're projecting. There's really nothing they can say. You really um, are leaving this person speechless. There's nothing they can say. And you're moving on. Yeah, you're moving forward. Having that victory. Yep. Yep. This could be somebody who's drinking a lot, not knowing what to do trying to come up with some kind of idea, not knowing what to do, okay? You could be dealing with the Pisces, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like this person drinks a lot, and they're very smug, you know? Um, they're smug, they're arrogant. Yeah. Clarify this, Ace of Wands. What is this? They could be out there picking people up, loving them and leaving them, right? Kind of a player mentality, I feel. Like maybe they're thinking if they go and pick people up, you know, they're over here being smug. Maybe they're thinking it's going to make you jealous. I really think you don't give a crap. That's what I'm feeling here. You don't care. You're, you want somebody who's going to be um, there for you. You want somebody who's going to match your loyalty, uh, your dedication. Um, you want somebody who's going to be able to commit to you. And you're about to get that. You're about to get a king of pentacles here. This person's, you know, I feel like they can't say anything to you, so they're going to try to make you jealous. I, I just... For some reason, that's what I'm feeling here with all these cups and this wand and their bright idea here with the hangman. I feel like they're going to try to make you jealous, okay? But you're not paying any attention to them. You're looking at this cup. You're looking at this king of pentacles. Um, you may have already met somebody here, Cancer. You're extremely sexy. You're in full control over your own future now. You've broken free from this narcissist. You've broken free from their mental entrapment, okay? And, and the mental, I feel like it was mental torture, really. That's, that's truly what it feels like to me because this person did it on purpose to try to remain in some kind of control and bigger than you, you know? It's really sad, actually, how they treated you. You know, and now that you're getting new love, I'm telling you, you're giving this person a tower. 
they never expected to get that from the most loving, nurturing queen in the deck. You know, they thought that maybe you would be, you would allow them to mentally abuse you and torture you forever, right? That's wrong. That's not happening. You know, you're, I feel like you're more in Queen of Wands energy now. They were expecting you to be open to this again or feel bad or th they thought that they could make you feel guilty or, you know, um, whatever. I, I feel like it's not working anymore, Cancer. It's not. You're on to this person's normal, you know, tactics, right? Abuse tactics. And I feel like that you've broken free from this person, Cancer. You don't have to deal with that anymore. And you're not. You're looking forward to this new love. Somebody who's going to be strong for you and defend you, you know? Yeah, you're bringing down this person's tower and you don't care. You're not even watching it. Um, they're having a lot of anxiety. They can't sleep. They can't eat. But they also feel like they, you know... What, they don't have anything that they can say. You know, the, they can try to make you jealous and play these little, you know, punk games, but really they've got nothing that they can say. Speechless. Yeah, anyway, Cancer, um, I don't know who that's for, but um, I am going to take this over to the extended, you guys. I want to see what this, what strategy are they going to try next, right? Because um, I feel like they're not going to give up. I, I just, I, the emperor, this is somebody who wants to get their way all the time. Like, it's their way or the highway. And I feel like um, they're trying all these different strategies to get you back in this Nine of Swords energy. I want to see what strategy they're going to try next because nothing else is, nothing's working. Nothing's working. They're, you're, this person's going nutty. So if you're interested in the extended, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box. That'll take you straight to Patreon, right? And Cancer, yeah, I hope this helps. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you dig this vibe, right? And until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.